Well, this is not a spring chicken, as you can see. We are out at the beach today, or actually watching the beach today, because at least the California weather is participating. But um, I don't know about you, but we're getting ready for Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah. Super Bowl 46. You know, there's so many cars parked that we can't park within a mile of the way to get down to the beach. <laughs> I know, and today, of course, we've got old camera comments in the headlines of today. That's who is always here. Yeah. yeah. And Romney wins in the battle landslide once again. Problems with the vote count, that can't be explained. I know. There are far more ballots cast than there are voters eligible to cast. And guess who they were cast for again, folks? Oh, surprise, surprise. And, uh, and uh, I did check when I, when I heard, I, last night I was listening to his landslides, I was the day listening to landslides, so I checked the, the, uh, the definition of a voting landslide is when you have a greater percentage of the votes than all the other candidates combined since Romney's percentage is only 42%. That means he didn't have a landslide. I mean, he also can, I mean, I did hear, I mean, I guess... You mean they're being generous with the word? I know, Santorum was uh, said. He said, first of all, Romney cannot win the nomination of the Republican Party with an average of 38% of the vote. You've got to have 66% of the delegates to win. Romney is picking up an average of 38, which means the other delegates control, the uh, other people control who the nominee will be. But Romney's already acting like like he's a presidential nominee. He's he's doing the walk line now with the Secret Service with him. Are you serious? Yeah. Somebody tell him something. Oh, they, well, no. I and mean, the way it works is, if Romney never got one single delegate, Romney would be the official candidate of the party because it's not that they think he can win the election. Is that he is? They said that he will keep things exactly like they are, and that's what they want. They don't want to shake up. You know, this kind of reminds me of Obama when he Yeah. And home price was dropping and tumors trying to get I'll give you another idea. Uh, we, we're looking for a place to get into. Uh, we can guarantee you that within a half a mile of where we're working at right now, there are over 200 homes for sale. That's a 200. lot. There's so many that they don't even have signs. But they're within, you can drive for an hour and a half though. We drove for an hour and a half and saw nine signs for sale sign, which means they're, um, they're pulled the signs because they don't want to depress the values of the neighborhood anymore. So the only way you can find that a home for, is for sale now, or, or basically an open house, is if you go through a real estate agent who's going to try to sell you the house at a higher price than the house is worth. Police have Mexican drug boat north of Los Angeles. I know. You'd think that they'd be smart enough not to come to the United States. They need to spend their money somewhere so they come over here are for a while. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. Well, they could have, well, let's just say, it was a Mexican drug boat. Yeah. Um, Facebook to file for $5 billion IPO on Wednesday, or at least some Wednesday this year, or maybe next. Uh, they keep pulling it. They have been pulling this thing back for a half a year now. It has went from 10, mil, 10 billion to 5 billion. So, uh, they, what it amounts to is that not the people don't want to buy into this company. The problem is that the company isn't really profitable. It, it, it's a company that deals with smart devices that can't market on smart devices. Uh -huh. Isn't that brilliant? Which means the company is worthless. And landowners have eminent domain along 39 mile Pennsylvania pipeline. I know. It, it's just um, you, you, you. They're okay. What it is is everybody has spent more money for their homes than they're willing. They're paying current market value for the homes. The problem is, in some cases, they're as much as five hundred thousand dollars upside down on the homes, and they'll never be able to get in. The, so what they'll do is they'll give them like a quarter of a million dollars for their home which immediately goes to the bank, so you're thrown out on the street without any place to live. Well, and that's kind of pissy. I know, isn't that something? It's, you know, a part of it is eminent domain is not supposed to work like that. Well, remember, David Souter was the one that cast a deciding vote on eminent, on, on communities shadily seizing people's homes, and then they threw him out of his own home. Are you serious? Yep. 
where she learned a lesson about that. Yeah, then it's like you can then do it. Right. And Ari sings off of Papua New Guinea with 150 on board. Yeah, you know, that's a disaster, so nothing you can... I mean, they over they overstacked all these cruddy ships out there. Yeah, I think it was overweight. Yeah, well, what happens is... Although for, it could have... No, but people have this weird thing is that they'll run to the side of a ship and uh, all of the people together to see what's going on when they go when the weight shifts to one side then they just the ship goes over that's how it works Amazing. if you stayed on if the ships are meant to be balanced if you stayed you know if everybody stayed on where they're supposed to be staying the ships wouldn't turn over even in bad seas but when you unbalance them that's what happens and all went, um, all thoroughbred horses had the same system. Well, I know, we, we, they, Didn't we talk about that? Yeah, I know, we've talked about this before. But I didn't know if there was something new, because, you know, sometimes... Oh, no, uh, basically, the press picked it up, and yeah. it's an exciting piece of news that they discovered what you can discover on any of the public broadcast channels. Everything has the two, and same, same, and two gorillas have the same ancestor, two... Two jackals have the same ancestor. Two alligators have the same ancestor. And, uh, you know, it happened. But they they don't know what it amounts to. I mean, how incompetent are news people that a, the average news person can't count without use of a computer. If he didn't have a computer, he'd have to take his shoes off to get to 20 because they, uh, you know, when they're talking about landslides and they they don't even bother to read what a landslide is it's just a landslide they're just using it like an adjective yeah you know, it's be mm. well because none of them uh, my guess is uh, they don't even read the stuff off the stuff anymore somebody tells them what it is okay this is what you're supposed to say landslide landslide then you just make up anything you want to go with it because they say well what are those words on that machine in front of me uh -huh. I don't think they can read, write, do arithmetic, mathematics, any of that stuff, none of it. Um, you know, I don't know how much you can do with that. Well, no, they can't write anymore, uh, because um, um, uh, newspapers are dying, publications are dying, everything out there that has to do with the written word is coming to an end. I mean, God, I mean, for instance, we, we write. Nobody ever criticizes our writing, they just... They just don't like the content. Yeah, so. They don't like the what? They okay. They okay. People no longer are editors of publications. Machines are. Computers are. The computer basically is looking to see if you stole something from somebody, and if the company that you're publishing with isn't advertising with the, isn't taking advertising money from whomever you're writing about. I know. Well, you know, see, the is you don't always know that. You spend all that time writing it. An example is we wrote a piece, we wrote a material, piece of material about the Super Bowl advertisers. It, we, we found out the people we wrote it for are heavily into the advertising of those people, and then when then they decided to take our story and rewrite it and use it for their news division. I love that. Is that like the ultimate compliment? Oh, they, they, you don't get credit for it. You don't get, you don't get credits. You don't get paid. You don't get nothing. It's kind of pissy that they, they stole your story, basically. Well, it happens all the time, you know, because it wasn't published. Since it wasn't published, you then have to well, go... Well, it wasn't to, published because we had submitted it to them. And well, yeah, it didn't get published <laughs> as a result, so... <laughs> But that, um, that's the way it's done today, so... 164 dead as record low temperatures group European countries. Uh, it's actually, they said 170 now. As it, it gets worse with... Okay, winters suck in parts of Europe. It is really a bad place to live during the winter. During the summer, it's nice. But because the winters are so bad, it makes the summer, you know, you got all the... It causes everything to bloom in spring and all this, but there are certain times of the year you do not want to be in the northern parts of Europe. Oh, uh, yeah, like the winter. Yeah. Believe me, I've been in the northern parts of Europe during the winter. Yeah, my, my father was in the northern parts of Europe during a war. He was there during the Battle of the Bulls, Oh, no, right? that's not good. That was not a good place to be, so. No. Um, Found bound and burned in posh areas. I know. It's uh, it 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 that 
I think it's talking about people who've done it before. It's just it's getting to be a big deal now. Uh, they used to be robbing, you know, robbing people and tying them up. Now it is robbing them and burning the buildings to the ground with the people in it. I mean, it's, um, I mean, it, 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 first of all, you got to understand you're going to get caught. I mean, uh, you know, you go to jail, you go to jail for breaking and entering and robbery, or you go to jail for premeditated murder. I mean, but then again, I figure, so they figure if Obama continues to be president, the Democrats take control of the judicial system, they'll find the people that were murdered guilty of causing the crime, so. I know, how do you like that? And the Monty Bubble is from Mark Twain and the Animal Kingdom. Hey, yeah, we'll see if I actually do what we created this time. Uh, those that own the bandwidth decide what is or what is not freedom of the press. So. Yeah, we just got it.